What's happening, y'all? I want to share this story with you all. Um, two stories, actually. It's sort of funny. One is about my dad. One is about my mom. I'm going to tell y'all first about uh, my dad. So, <clears throat> I got in a new bike for Christmas, right? And um, the girls down the street wanted to ride my bike. And so... It was like, let us ride your bike. And I was like, no, you can't ride my bike. They said, well, if you don't let us ride your bike, we're going to go down there and tell your dad that you said we got roaches at our house. All right, so my dad was mowing the yard. I was like, no, man, fuck that shit. I ain't letting y'all ride my dad's bike. So they ran down there. I'm talking about tears and everything. This shit was like a movie. And <laughs> they told my dad. Mr. Crump, Lavelle said, we got roaches in our house. And so my daddy said, Billy, get your motherfucking ass in the house. So um, I went in the house, and when my dad came in, he was sweating, he was mad. And I looked at him and told him, look, Dad, I am serious. I did not do that. Like, I did not. I did not say that, Dad. I promise you that line. And my dad did some of the dopest shit ever. He said, five months ago, when the teacher called the house and said that you was acting up at school, did I beat your ass? I said, no, sir, you didn't. He said, should I have beat your ass? I said, probably so, Dad. He said, three months ago, when you broke the window, um, you broke that window, did I beat your ass? I said, no, sir. He said, should I beat your ass? I said, probably so. He said, a couple weeks ago. Did you get in trouble again at school? Said, yes, sir. He said, did I beat your ass? I said, no, sir. He said, I don't give a fuck whether you did it this time or not. I'm beating your ass. <laughs> he beat the shit out of me. Um, but what I realized, what I realized as I got older was that my dad never whooped me. I thought my dad was picking on me. What I, what I realized is my dad never whooped me when I deserved to be whooped because he probably would have hurt me. My dad was a big guy, very aggressive. And I really thought my dad was mean, but he's very kind. Um, and as brutal as my ass whippings were, I didn't get as many ass whippings as I thought I did. Like in my head, I thought I got my ass beat every week, but really my dad probably whooped me maybe two, three times a year, if that. Um, but like now I see what he was doing and how he did it. And now that I run a business and I deal with children a lot, I bet most of the time he whooped my ass. He probably went in the room and laughed about that shit. But he never beat me out of anger. You know, and I know I talked I talked to y'all yesterday about moving without information and moving on emotions. Sometimes when you do things and you are engulfed in emotions that... Um, you can end up hurting somebody you love or going overboard. So, like, you know, if, if, if you even look at the greatest, like, trained fighters, you never really see them lose control and you never really see them angry. They just make a conscious decision and they move on that. All right, ladies, this is for you. So, my house used to be where my dad and his friends play spades and tunk and smoke weed and did all the drinking and shit. And this particular night, my um, my dad's friends um, brought their wives along. And they pulled my mom aside and they told my mom, they was like, yo, I know you get tired of, you know, the parties at the house all the time. I know you get tired of all the weed smoke, you know. She was like, you know, I bet you feel like you're getting taken advantage of. And my mom said that she said one of the most, well, after she told me the story, I thought it was one of the most poignant things that I'd heard in a very long time. 
She said she told them. She said when my husband gets high and drunk, he stumbles in the back and gets in my bed. She said, when your husbands leave my house, you don't know if they're coming straight home or not. I know what my husband is. And I thought that was so fucking dope. And even if it wasn't about another woman, she didn't have to worry about him drinking and driving. She didn't have to worry about him making it home. Um, you know, why intoxicated or whatever. My mom was able to think about it and not get emotional and look at the cards that are on the table and play them in a way that was not just best for her, but best for her husband. It may have not been easy, but it definitely wasn't emotional. Thank you all.